don't forget, ko-fi.com slash stopwritingalone is a real simple way to show your support for what's going on here week after week. Hi, everyone. This is Nicole Rivera, and this is the Stop Writing Alone podcast for writers who are looking for their writing community. I know you want to find readers for your work, but I think your first step is to connect with other writers. That's what we're going to do here at the Stop Writing Alone podcast. We'll do writing prompts and other writing group activities, discover online writing communities, learn how to find local writing groups, or how to make your own. Join us as we explore, learn, and write. This week's episode is sponsored by the Stop Writing Alone podcast, Happy Campus Club Summer Camp Edition. It's only one week to sign up. Early bird pricing ends on Sunday. If you want to know the details on how to sign up and where to find the link, just pay attention to the episode. I hope to see you there. Hi, this is Nicole Rivera, and you're listening to the Stop Writing Alone podcast. It's the last week of June. I can't even believe it, but it's here, which means one thing to me. July is starting, and July is Camp NaNoWriMo. I think I've explained to you a number of times why I love the NaNoWriMo program and why I particularly love Camp NaNoWriMo, but the July Camp NaNoWriMo was especially close to my heart because it was the first time when I participated in it where I truly took ownership of saying what I wanted um, this seemed to come up in almost every single Zoom call I was in today about this idea of expressing um, what you want and being clear about it and not like expecting the world to know what you want and need. So it was, I, by the way, you are going to hear my husband in the background playing his video game because I am still doing recordings in my kitchen. Um, and we are going to be moving forward in the next month or so in finally getting an office slash recording space for me moving forward. But, um, yeah, I can't wait for everything to be quiet tonight. Mama needs to go to bed. (laughs) But back to the point, basically what I'm talking about was I'm trying to remember the exact year I want to say it was 2017 maybe it was 16 uh definitely after I was a mom right and I had been writing uh I started writing before I was a mom and sort of fitting it in around um life you know like I, I didn't feel like I needed to set aside separate time um you know when my husband was doing his thing I would be doing writing or, um, you know, when he was at work and I, I, I had the time, I would be writing. And it wasn't like getting in the way of anything. That was, you know, obviously easy. Then when I had my son and there was like a whole other human to account for, uh, someone who was very attached to me. Now it was a, a whole different ball game, right? Now um, trying to wiggle my writing around all of that was a lot. And I realized I needed to hone in a little bit on the time that, um, you know, my son was awake and my husband maybe was doing something else. And I finally said, listen, July's coming up. It's Camp NaNoWriMo. I would really like to have dedicated time to revising my novel and I'd never done that before I'd never said I want my writing to be in my eyes at that time in the way of maybe some other plans that we're having and so I made it a priority but simply by asking and by uh, vocalizing this desire that I had and I was nervous as hell I don't know why I don't know what I was nervous about like I'm a grown person. I can make these decisions for myself. But it just felt, I guess, a, a little bit of guilt, maybe, that I even wanted that. But I I asked my husband, and I, I like, 
scheduled it that I would go like really early in the morning. I said, I think I can go like early enough because it's summer that you guys will be sleeping late. You won't even miss me. And he was like, sure, whatever. That sounds fine. Like, obviously, the really funny thing I find when we finally do figure out what it is that we do want and we can wrap our heads around it and then we like go ahead and say it out loud, it's like nowhere near as big a deal for anybody else <laughs> than it is for us. So that was the case. And because I, you know, really like stepped into it and and owned this desire that I had and, and I felt like stepped out on this huge limb to make it happen, I was, I was dedicated to it. So in that July, I, I went to the Barnes & Noble every single weekday for two to three hours and just revised my novel from page one till the end. And I was there on July 31st. I was just there from open to close because I just called home and I was like, I'm not done yet. I'm going to stay. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that novel um, was obviously so much better after that level of daily dedication. And um, I freaking love Camp NaNoWriMo for that because Camp NaNoWriMo is different than NaNoWriMo because you don't have to be drafting a novel. It doesn't even have to be a novel. You could do whatever the heck you want. It's just like this month-long space of dedication. So I'm signed up. I'm ready to go. I will be doing July Camp NaNoWriMo this year. I am going to be working on uh, nonfiction. Well, working on an amalgam of nonfiction and fiction. I'm going to be putting together the uh, 52 writing prompts that I've been sharing on the YouTube channel into a book, but also including the 52 stories that I've been writing for every single week. So I don't know where that's going to go, but that is what I'm working on um, getting done beginning to end in the month of July. I have created a um, Stop Writing Alone Happy Campers writing group in uh, Camp NaNoWriMo. And of course, you know, many of the people who are in the Stop Writing Alone Happy Campers Club have joined, but it is open to... Um, there's a limit on how many people can be in the group. But if you are signing up this July for Camp NaNoWriMo and would like to connect with me and some of the happy campers as your one of your writing groups in NaNoWriMo, send me um, an email, I guess, over at stopwritingalone at gmail.com or, you know, connect with me wherever you find me, a DM on Instagram or on Facebook. And let me know what your uh, username is over in NaNoWriMo so I can invite you. And, uh, and you can meet some pretty cool people over there. The other thing that I'll be doing in July and August is opening the doors again for the Happy Campers Club. That's like this private community that we have in Stop Writing Alone where uh, we are showing up every single day for each other in Zoom calls. Monday we talk goal setting, Tuesday is a day full of write-ins, Wednesday is our, you know, coffee hour where we just sort of just chat and catch up. And in July, Thursdays will be a second day of writing um, rather than other things that I've done in previous months. And Friday is a writing prompt party. So it's a lot of um, fun stuff. It's constant accountability we're in each other's faces we're kind of in each other's lives virtually at this point it has been wonderful and uh, as I said I'm going to open the doors for a couple more people if you're interested the only difference is when I've done this before it's been a month-long commitment uh, this time it'll be uh, basically the whole summer July and August August um I'm supposed to be going away with my family. So it's basically like July and half of August. Although I'm pretty sure that some of the happy campers will keep activities rolling. At least some of them, probably like a write-in and what have you, um, during the weeks that I am away. 
Um, I will include the link for the sign up in the show notes. Uh, there will be an early bird price up until Sunday of uh, one forty nine ninety nine for the two months, and um, and then I'm I'm really only going to let people sign up up until July begins. So uh, that ends sign ups just end on Tuesday, but I'm really looking forward to this July. It's the Happy Campers Club has been something that has been so um so important to me really throughout uh, all of this quarantine time and I've mentioned that before but combining that with you know my great love for Camp NaNoWriMo it's uh, I'm really really looking forward to what's going to come next here because I I just know that the group of ladies that I've been working with have been so uh pivotal to all the productivity i've had and i think i think it can say vice versa i think many people have had a lot of great success uh working within the group but let's just talk about camp nanowrimo and what you could be doing and what you should be doing in this final week to prepare this is not the same as nanowrimo where it's like you really have to like arrange your life so that this can get done because you know there's a 50,000 word goal in 30 days it could be that if that's what you want but it's literally whatever you um, want it to be so for example I already told you the example of what I had done a number of years ago where I took the month to revise a novel that's you know that was a completely different animal and this year as I said I'm going to be working on the 52 stories uh, prompts and stories but you may have realized that the year is not over so I don't have the 52 prompts and I don't have the 52 stories written yet by the end of July I will have had 30 prompts and 30 stories so my goal right now is around I think I put in um, camp like 30,000 words just thousand words per prompt and week and that's probably overshooting it a bit. But you can select whatever length that you want to commit to just to make sure that you have a goal set up in the page and, um, and get working on that. What I recommend is once you decide whatever your end goal is for the month is that you work backwards from there and decide, well, what does that mean for each week what does that mean for each day which is you know they usually break that stuff down for you on the stats page anyway but once you have that information ask yourself uh you know for instance when it is 50,000 words they say uh you need to write just under 1,700 words um per day uh, when you have the 50,000 uh word goal for the for the whole month I'm sorry it's 1,700 words per day so then you would have to ask yourself, well, how long does it take me to write 1,700 words and how much time do I need to do that? Where does that time fit into my life right now? How do I make that happen? Are you still working from home? Are you going back to work now? Like, is this going to be a hard month for you, period? You know, keep, take that all into consideration while you create your goal. Maybe even play around with it on the page to see you know, what the numbers come out like. The other fun thing about July is that it's not just 30 days the way November is. It's 31. We have a whole extra day for writing. Woohoo! hoo So, um, yeah, definitely something that you want to do. And then I think what you really do need to determine is what you want to accomplish in this month. And you need to say it out loud to the people in your lives and uh really like own it and share it and uh get everybody on the same page and it, it's really that simple like I said it's going to be a big deal for you to come up with that and and ask for it if you know writing isn't already your career and already incorporated into your day and life then, you know this might be a big sort of ask but again it's bigger for you than it is for the person hearing it so there was a meme going around during all of this quarantine that said something along the lines like, you've been telling yourself your whole life that the reason you're not getting you know, X, Y, or Z done 
is that you haven't had the time and now you've just been proven wrong because the quarantine gave you all the time in the world and you still didn't get X, Y, or Z done. And now that was funny, but also not true, right? Because uh, let's not forget that we didn't just get time with all of this lockdown. We also had like emotional roller coasters left, right, and center. And homeschooling and figuring out how you're going to get your groceries or do shopping and stay distant from people. There was a lot. (laughs) Your mind has been racing with uh, everything going on. However, what I will say is that the one thing about that meme that um, rang true to me is that it's true. You could be given all the time in the world and not have all of the outside stresses and still not get um, whatever it is done. Because what you need is whether you have the time or not, is that you need to make that thing a priority. And that usually requires scheduling time and making time for it and all of that requires you saying what you want. So, the number one thing that you need to do if you would like to partake in Camp NaNoWriMo and complete a writing project in the next month is that you have to make it a priority. And I find that the first step in doing that is saying it out loud, sharing it with some people, not doing it alone, as we say, um, and whether that is someone in your family, or a fellow writer, just getting the word out there. That's one of the things NaNoWriMo does really well because you kind of have to declare a project the second you sign up and say you're going to do it. So you write it down. You say, this is what I want to do. This is how many words I want to do. I'm in it to win it, and I'm ready to go. So I wish all of you luck that are taking on this this challenge for the next month. If you're not doing Camp NaNoWriMo and there's a bajillion reasons why, um, you know, it might not be a good idea for a lot of people right now, uh, that's fine, you know, but I, I still would say that last point of whatever kind of writing you want to get done, do yourself a favor and find a way to make it a priority and declare what you want not only to the world outside, but to yourself. Do yourself that favor today. Try to fully explain what it is that you want to accomplish and uh, and share it with someone. And that's it. And I thank you for listening. And I will talk to you next week. But if you are keeping track... And trying to stay uh, with writing a single short story every single week of the, the year 2020. I believe this week will be week 26. We are halfway through the year. And you will be getting a new prompt from me on the NV Rivera YouTube channel. And um, yeah, so... That's there for you every single week, and you can look back and see what we've done so far this year. If you are um, following along on that and you are interested, now that we've reached the halfway point, I do want to uh, offer up the opportunity to redo or replicate some of the favorites. So if you have a favorite prompt that was done, one that's, uh, you know, that is replicatable, like, uh, you know, something like Rory's Story Cubes where we could roll a whole new set of cubes and and redo the prompt, Uh, please let me know what your favorites are and I will be doing a best of the first half of the year during the second half of the year. But this Friday will be something brand new. And uh, I think that's it. If you are interested in the Happy Campers Club, if you have any questions about the Happy Campers Club, please feel free to reach out to me. But the link... In the show notes, we'll have, you know, at least a brief description of what is entailed 
and what is uh, what will be going on for the months of July and August. So have a wonderful week. Thank you again for listening. Please don't forget, hear and stop writing alone or any podcast that you're listening to, any books you read. One great way to show your support for all the creators that you know and love is to write a review for their product. So if you have not yet written a review or rated the Stop Writing Alone podcast and you've been listening this long, let's go. Let me know what you think. Put it in a review um, in Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. I know some of the apps don't have um, a rating system. And so if you are listening in a place where uh, you don't have a place to uh, leave a review for Stop Writing Alone, then I would kindly request that you write a review on iTunes. And um, that would be so greatly appreciated. Thank you again. I think I've said it three times now, but I really am grateful that you are here listening and I will talk to you next week. Happy writing. One more thing that I forgot to mention last week. Um, I had a the honor of being on Kim Floden's podcast, Fall in Love with Yourself. Kim is uh, you know, a friend of mine and we've been working together for, goodness, it's... <laughs> two years now since we met in in Kathy Heller's uh, Everyone Can Podcast course but Kim is just like a wonderful healer and intuitive and uh, you know she had I actually won in in one of her Facebook uh, lives I won an intuitive session with Kim and now Kim and I talk all the time so I've, I've kind of had like these these intuitive moments with her where where I talk to her about something that's going on and she's like she can just hone in on what's like really going on and talk you through it's really really amazing I I highly recommend that you just listen to the fall in love with your podcast fall in love with yourself podcast uh on its own but she has a bonus episode where she did a full intuitive session with me the one that I that I won from her and it's a really uh cool sort of situation um that I was in well the situation itself wasn't great you know I wasn't feeling great about something someone said to me talked to Kim about it and she started just again honing on the situation but then reading like various spirits that were around it and uh, if you're into that kind of thing of hearing about like um well like my mom's spirit and what she might have wanted to say to me and and things of that nature then uh i i can't recommend it enough i will drop a link in the show notes or you can just uh search for fall in love with yourself with kim a floden and uh the most recent uh, bonus episode is you know she says intuitive session with nicole rivera and that's me so highly recommend it if you are not already following kim floden uh, with this podcast, Fall in Love with Yourself, or, you know, the hilarious podcast that she has with her sisters, How in the Hell Did I Get Here? You really need to get on it. I've been talking about Kim since the beginning, and there's a reason. I love her. She's amazing. And uh, I hope she's getting uh, a nice getaway this weekend, detaching a little bit of unplugged for Kim this weekend. So I figure I'd do a little plug for her this week. Okay, guys, have a great week. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Stop Writing Alone podcast wherever you're listening to this episode today. Then connect with us on Facebook at Stop Writing Alone Facebook page or in the Stop Writing Alone with Nicole Rivera Facebook group. Check Instagram or Twitter where I'm at NV underscore Rivera to find links to our email newsletter. Happy writing. See you next week.